So I've been meaning to make this video for a little bit now, probably for about a week, and here I am making it. So, today I have the Huckleberry 357 Magnum lever action to present to you today. Now this is, uh, technically, right here it says, Model LVR 357 20 inch 357 Magnum. That's technically the model name. Uh, they call it the Huckleberry 357 Magnum. Uh, it's made by Hug Tech, and it's uh, made in Turkey. From there, it is imported by G-Force Arms, and if you know anything about G-Force Arms, you'll know they're kind of uh, known for their budget options. Basically, I have almost no complaints about this yet, so that's good. I paid, in total, a bit over $600 after the uh, firearm transfer fee at my local FFL, and that was included the gun, the shipping, and the transfer fee. I think it was like 640-ish around there. I can't remember really. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't come with the side saddle. This is separate, but overall, it's kind of a nice looking gun. Uh, I was actually expecting a different finish. I wasn't expecting it to be matte like this, but I do not care for like the looks of this I, I surely bought this for functionality and for the fact of getting my hands on a lever action to practice with to kind of introduce myself to the platform I haven't seen too much info about this firearm yet and I've, I think I saw only one other guy make a video on this aside from G-Force Arms themselves and he, he kind of didn't have the info that I was personally looking for so I figured I'd make this video and see you know in, in hopes to answer some of your questions about this firearm. I actually haven't weighed this trigger yet, but I got one of these bad boys right here. We're going to do that right now. Looks like uh, three pounds, five ounces. We'll try it again. Three pounds, ten ounces. Three pounds, four ounces. Three pounds, eleven ounces. Now I think it's just it depends on you know where you're putting it on the trigger. Because further down the trigger will give you more leverage. We'll try it at the very end here. Yeah, 2 pounds, 15 ounces. I mean, the further you pull on the trigger, the further down, you're going to get more leverage, so it's going to weigh less. So, about 3.5 pounds. Which isn't bad. It's pretty crispy. It's, of course, it's a, it's a single action trigger pull. Very uh, short trigger pull. Not bad. Uh, as of today, I only have 100 rounds fired through this thing. Actually, technically 99, and I'll get to that in a second. When I first got it, the whole thing, not the whole thing, but like from here to here, was completely drenched in lube, <laughs> which is pretty funny. It was the first time I ever needed a paper towel to clean it up a bit right out of the box. And, uh, I will say with use, it's kind of it's kind of like broken in, even with this small amount of ammo I fired through it. I've also just sat there and you know, ran the action, uh, dry firing. And I've also done a little bit, not too much, but a little bit of uh, dry dry practice reloading and whatnot. And the loading gate spring was really stiff when I first got it. Same with the tube mag spring. So far, out of the minimal reloading that I've done, it, it feels as if everything has kind of loosened up a little bit, and I'm sure it'll get like a little softer with time as well. But it kind of feels like it's already broken out of that stiff stage of stiff springs and all that. It's got a 20 inch barrel, 10 round capacity, uh, I have loaded it with 10 rounds before. It wasn't like super difficult. Like it didn't get like noticeably increasingly difficult as I put more and more rounds in it. 
So that's always good. I've seen some lever actions where that's a problem, uh, particularly in, in reviews that I watch on a few. It's definitely no smooth buttery lever action. I fired uh, only one other lever action other than this one, and that was AR American's Mare's Leg. Uh, that, and that's over on his channel. And that one was really smooth. I gotta say, the action, the lever action, was just super smooth. This, not really comparable, but at the same time, this isn't atrocious either. It's workable. It's, you, you don't really notice anything too nasty feeling. You just kind of feel the different levels of the function that the lever, uh, you know, works. But other than that, you don't really feel like, it's not like a nasty grinding feeling or anything like that. It's, it's pretty smooth. It's about as smooth as I'd expect from a $600 lever action. So the reason I say I only shot 99 rounds out of 100 through it is because this here had happened. <laughs> uh, now I have two guesses as to what happened here. Uh, either it was completely a feeding problem and it just crammed it, or it's just the fact that this is just some remanufactured ammunition that I, I got from the range. And it's totally possible that it just got sank back in there uh, as it was in the tube mag being, you know, nose to butt uh, amongst other rounds of ammunition. But it, it prevented it from feeding all the way and so I kind of noticed when I took a look down in the, the chamber area. And yeah, I got it out of there. So I don't know what happened there necessarily, but I ran all other 99 rounds without problem. I mean, that's about all I can ask for. Uh, I definitely plan on running a lot more ammo through this gun. This isn't necessarily a, a review quite yet. This is just my first impressions and first thoughts and kind of what I've noticed about it so far. This is for 357 Magnum. Uh, no clue if it could run 38 Special yet, and I'll be finding that out real soon. Uh, typically with lever guns that are at least this is something that I've personally noticed when I was looking at lever guns on the market. Typically the ones that can run both say they can run both right there in the description or right there in the name. It'll be 357 38 Special Lever Action. This is strictly says 357 Magnum Lever Action. So I have no clue how, how 38 Special will function through this. Uh, and I'll let you guys know as soon as I find out. I would use just a snap cap, but... Uh, Snap caps won't be accurate because you'll still have the, the, the bullet, you know, in place. And uh, I feel like that, that might add something to it. Now, of course, I don't really know that much about lever actions yet. So these are just my ideas that I'm spitballing. But I think overall so far this does appear to be well worth the money. Uh, considering the market of lever action firearms right now, it... Uh, seems to fill that spot of the budget lever action. I do have some footage of me at the range, which I'll throw in here right now, I guess. One second. I will say, uh, it's definitely not anything close to like a competition gun that you see the, the, the competition runners with like the real short strokes or whatever. You definitely have to stroke it out all the way and all the way back every time. Because if you don't, it's not going to feed properly and it's not going to eject properly. So, it does have to be a full stroke. You can't just 
do something like that. But ooh, pinch my finger there. <laughs> and that's just with minimal practice. I plan on getting better at this, so that'll be in the coming months. I'll hopefully get a, a bit quicker with this in particular. I just wanted something to fill that that spot um, of a lever action platform firearm in my collection and rotation of, of practice. Uh, and I gotta say, so far, I mean, this, this fills it just nice. Uh, no real complaints, like I've been saying. So, uh, the screws, there's a lot of screws on this gun. I haven't noticed anything come loose yet. I will say that the cap to the uh, tube mag was kind of loose when I first got it. I just really cranked it down. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You know, normally with budget guns, I mean, and sometimes even with high dollar guns sometimes, not always, but sometimes, uh, it's just you got to go through and uh, thread lock all the, all the screws, and I haven't had to do that yet. So... That's nice. Maybe I should, but I probably won't until I need to, because that's just the way I do things. I like to see what happens. Overall, the loading, pretty standard, pretty simple. Just your typical uh, side gate loading. It can be a little rough on the thumb with like its sharp edges, uh, but overall, you kind of get used to finding that, that sweet angle that really lets you get it in there and not have any serious problems so yeah just I just want to make this video just get it out there get the info out there for anyone who's interested in this firearm it's got my stamp of approval personally so far um, and if anything wrong happens I'll be the first to, to update that it's definitely more of a casual uh, option than than any sort of competitive options but I gotta work with what I got, and this is what my budget allows, <laughs> so I do not mind, you know, cutting myself short there for something like this, as it's completely functional. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good day.